First of all, we'd like to say good evening, ladies and gentlemen. On the bandstand right now, the world famous B.B. King Blues Band, directed by Mr. James Rowland. Let's hear it. Thank you. And right here, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, we'd like to bring him down front for his first and only time of the evening. So how about it? And I for a New York welcome for the one and only, the King of the Blues, the exciting Mr. B.B. I'm Mark McHugh, and you are in for a lesson in the blues tonight from this gentleman sitting to my right, Mr. B.B. King. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. And how are we doing tonight? I'm doing B. real B. good, real good. Seeing all these beautiful smiling faces and waiting for these phone calls making me feel even better, but a little nervous. <laughs> 
Well, everybody's sweating backstage already <laughs> after the first song. Over 50 years in the business, bringing us nothing but joy. We have a lot of songs. Thank you. A lot of songs to get to. The phone calls lit up after the first song that you did. So shall we go to the phone, you and I together? Let's go. B.B. King, you're on the air with B.B. King. Say hi. Who is this? Mr. King, it's Ken from Chicago. Well, how are you? I'm fantastic. How about yourself? You're sounding good. Thank you very much. Hey, listen, I wanted to let you know it's a pleasure and an honor to talk to you tonight. Thank you. I, uh, you're welcome. I had a chance to... Uh, I'm from Chicago, and you, as you know, we love the blues here. Absolutely. Well, thank you. You know, Chicago has been really good to the blues. You betcha. And I, Thanks I've been to a, the Godfather, Muddy, Muddy Waters. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Go right ahead. I've been a fan of yours forever, but I, I've never had the chance to see you live, and I actually had a real nice thing happen to me this past weekend. I was in Manhattan with my oldest son, Michael, <laughs> and we had a chance to come over to your club on Sunday night on Father's Day. Wow. And to see you perform there, and it was quite a night. Nice. Thank you. Thank nice. you. And one of, the, one of the neat things that happened was my son, he's 17, and he's quite a rock and roller. He's, gr he's grown up to be a, a music lover, but he doesn't know much about the blues. And uh, we sat through your, your set, and you were fantastic. And we left the show, and we were walking up 7th Avenue, and he looked at me and he said, you know, Dad, I never heard any of those songs before, but I don't think I've ever seen a better show. Nice. Oh, well, thanks so much. Thank you. <laughs> what would you like to hear tonight, Ken? Well, I, I mentioned I got a couple of kids. I got three boys and a girl, and I got one song I want to request for my daughter, Carolyn. She's my sweet little angel. Of course. Oh, my of sweet course. little angel. Thank you, Ken. BB Ken. <laughs> thanks so much. All right, all right. Sweet little angel I love the way She spreads her wings I've got a sweet little angel I love the way She spreads her wings When she spread her wings around me I get joy and everything You know I ask my baby for a nickel And she gave me a twenty dollar bill I ask my baby for a nickel And she gave me a twenty dollar bill You know I asked her for a little drink of liquor And she gave me a whole whiskey still
If you don't love me, sweet little angel, please tell me the reason why. Already. You ready? All right. You ready, ready, ready? I'm ready, ready, ready. Let's ready. take a phone call. You're on the air with B.B. King. Hey, May from New Hebron, Mississippi. Hey, my home state. So you got to say hi to B.B. <laughs> hey, B.B. Well, hello. <laughs> <You're> my baby. <laughs> All right. How are you? Oh, I love your music. I thank you. And you are beautiful. Oh, my God. I gosh. love you. <laughs> I love you. I love you. Thank you. Thank you so much. May, did you call up to ask for a song, or did you just call to tell him that you love him? I called to tell him that I love him. Thank you. And I wish I could squeeze him. <laughs> Have a lot to squeeze, May. <laughs> That's all right, baby. That's all right. I can, kill, I can cover that. I can cover that. May, it's only a two-hour show, my friend. <laughs> okay, love. Okay, love. What would you like to hear? Uh, uh. I'll, well, I'll let you squeeze him for me, and then I'll give you my... Oh, there you go. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Okay, bad case of love. Bad case, bad of, case love. of love for me, BB King. Okay, all right.
face over here. Got a hand for this band. You got a crack band back here. Sounding good, gentlemen. Thank and you. dressed just as sharp as they want. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these guys keep me, you know, keep me alive. Well, they look good while they're doing it too. Oh yeah, they getting are. a lot of phone requests, BB. A lot Thank of phone you. requests. All right, good. Shall we take another one? Yes, sir. One Thanks. more to the phones. This is emails are coming in, phone calls are coming in, and we're getting some from people somewhere on the road. I think we even have a request from someone on the bus. Really? Hey. Hey, BB. <laughs> How you doing? I'm fine. I hear this is a live request show. Yes, it is. And that's just perfect. Thank because you. Because I would like to hear you sing Nightlife. Because you sing it like nobody else. <laughs> of course, for you, you know Willie I will. Nelson, everybody. <laughs> oh, I... Willie's bus is a pretty cool place to be. Have you ever hung out on Willie's bus with him, BB? Yeah, I've been on his bus. Uh, he, he's really cordial, you know. I mean, he's a guy that really treats you nice. You, you go on his bus, you know, have everything but the kitchen, the kitchen stove. There you go. I like, like, may I tell you just a yes. short little story? Please go right ahead. I was working when I first recorded uh, this beautiful song, Nightlife. I was working at, in Nashville. They used to have a, a place there called the Exit Inn. So this particular night, I'm feeling good. The band's playing well, and so I had never met Willie. I read back to get nightlife, and when I did, I looked right in his eyes. <laughs> My knees turned to jelly. <laughs> he was so nice, though, after the song was finished, and we went backstage, and I've been trying to do it ever since. Well, Willie's a good man. He's so are you. Nightlife, would you play for us, I'll baby? I'll do it right nightlife. now. Nightlife. Thank you. I said that A and E nightlife ain't no good life, but it's my life. Yes, it is. All the people, just like you and me, 
Everybody's dreaming They're dreaming about the old used to be Nightlife ain't no goodbye But it's my life We are live in New York City with one of the greatest artists of all time, B.B. King. B.B.? Let's get back to the phones and get another phone request, shall right. we, B.B.? You're yeah. on the air with B.B. King from Nashville, Tennessee. Say hi. Hey, how you doing, B.B.? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing great, man. Man, I've been a big fan for a long time, seen you play here many times in Nashville. It's a pleasure to talk to you. Yes. Hey, uh, when uh, you opened up B.B. King's in Memphis, yes. uh, I was there grand opening weekend. You had Albert King playing God Rest His Soul. Yes. Their blues, uh, the Beale Street One Blues of the Festival greats. weekend. Went into the club, me and uh, some friends of mine that were in a, in a band we had. Uh, they got us confused with the Black Crows who were playing down the street. And uh, we drank uh, quite a bit that night, and uh, it was on the Black Crows tab, so I may owe you some money out of that deal. I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, hey, I wanted to uh, uh, request a song here, The Neighborhood Affair, off your new album, Reflections. It's a All great right. record, man. I enjoyed it immensely. Thank you. Right. Thank That's you. Chark from Nashville. Uh, Thank Neighborhood you very Affair, much. Reflections is your latest album. Uh, yes, that's and the latest album. I want to run out and buy about 100 nice. copies each, if you shall. <laughs> here we go Neighborhood <laughs> Affair, BBK. <laughs> Neighbors all miss you, my darling. I walk alone, how they stare. 
They can't understand why we changed our plans. It's a neighbor, it's a neighborhood affair. I stopped in at our favorite place for a soda. And all of our friends was there. The gossip was free. Oh, all about you and me. It's a neighbor. Baby, it's a neighborhood affair. Of a romance, you see, had grown to be part of our little community until you met somebody new and you said our romance was through oh but if you should have a change of heart dear and you think we still can make a pair. Everything's okay with me, baby. You name the day, and the neighbors will be there. We'll have a neighborhood affair. James Tony. Community until you met somebody new, you said I'm a romance or two. If you should have a change of heart, dear, and you think we still can make a fair. neighbors will be there we'll have a neighborhood 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 affair Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. We appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. We got another one for you. Let's get it, guys. Let's get it. Scheming. I know why my mother 
she taught me to be true She met me for someone exactly like you Let me hear you Legendary B.B. King is giving us a master class in the blues. There really are very few artists who have done it all, who actually span the entire history of our technology. But back in the late 1940s, B.B. was on the radio. You were a disc jockey taking requests, and you were the Pepticon guy. Tell us about what Pepticon is. Pepticon was a tonic that's good for whatever ails you. 12% alcohol. Well... <laughs> Well, Bibi, we have some emails from people around the world. I'd like to read a couple to you. This is from Estela from Buenos Aires, Argentina. Are you planning to play in Argentina again soon? We love you so much. You're really the best. Thank you. you got good taste down there in South America. From Greg in Truckee, California. I'm looking forward to seeing you in Reno, Nevada on July 26th. Fifth year in a row. You never disappoint. Give my regards to Lucille. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. And Thanks here's so one from Carol in Lake Charles, Louisiana. Hello. Way oh. down, down south. My husband and I actually met at one of your shows. We've been together now almost 25 years. Wow. Please play Guess Who for my man Jake. Would you play Guess Who yes, for my man sir. Jake? Yes, This is for you, Carol sir. and Jake. Yes, Guess who? So 
your heart. There's someone who really cares is me. Someone will wait eternally. Who needs your love? Oh, so desperately. So open your heart. Charles will never be the same. <laughs> Lake Charles will never, ever be the same. Thanks so much. You having fun tonight, baby? Oh, I'm still a little nervous, but these people are helping me so much. You Thank get, you. You still get nervous? Yeah. Oh, wow. That's great. I believe, I believe it was Ray Charles that said that, um, you know, people talk about stage fright. I think he said it was your concern. Yeah. So I'm very concerned. <laughs> All right, let's go to the next request. Um, uh, this is a phone call. Here we go. You're on with B.B. King. Say hey. 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 <laughs> Hello. Can, Hi, Hello. who's this? I'm doing good. That's great. Is that your name? Uh, my name is I. Serene. Hi, I. Serene. Where are you from? I'm from Inglewood, California. Now say yeah. hi to B.B. King. Hi, B.B. King. Hello. I love you, B.B. King. Thank you. I've been listening to you for 50 Yes, I'm 70 years old. <laughs> <laughs> I've been to your blues thank you. I've been to your blues club in California. Oh, thank you. I love you, BB King. I, I love, love you, you too, I, I love you. Thank you. I, I'd like for you to play The Thrill is Gone for me. The Thrill is Gone. <laughs> <laughs> well, now before we get into that, I just want to tell you, we kind of had a sneaking suspicion that the thrill, of, thrill is Gone would come up, because it has to come up from somebody. <laughs> and we have a man, actually the man who created Live By Request, wants to chime in on the subject. Tony, are you there? BB. Yes. It's so wonderful to see you on this show, boy. I'll tell you, I've been waiting a long time for this. I know the public's going to love it. Thank say, BB, I do have one request. If, you, if, if I may be so bold, I'd like to have you do The Thrill is Gone. Thank you. Of course Thank we'll you. do it. I want to ask you a question. You had your first R&B hit in 1952. The Thrill is Gone came many years after that. Yes. How did this song change your life? Well, it started young people to listening to us. We, we got radio play that we'd never had before and start touring around the world, which we'd never done before. We played 90 different countries around the world. Not bad. So I think The Thrill is Gone helped a lot. All right. The Thrill is Gone. <laughs> The 
good man should. I'm free now. I'm free from your spell. Right now, we want to bring out a very special guest. He is a Rock and Roll Hall of Famer in his own right. He was in the Yardbirds, also had his very own group. He's most definitely a guitar hero and an all too rare television appearance. Please welcome Mr. Jeff Beck. Rock me, baby, rock me all night long. Rock me, baby, honey, rock me all night long. Rock me, baby, like my back ain't got no bone. Rock me, baby, honey, rock me slow. Rock me slow Rock me, baby Till I want no more You got it, Jeff
I said, do you feel like singing? All right, keep it grooving, keep it grooving. All you gotta do, repeat after me. Are you about ready? Are you ready? Let's do it. Rock me. Rock me. Rock me, baby. Rock me. Rock me. Rock me, baby. When they get good, you get loud. Rock me. Let's get him to do one more. What do you say? Walking is much too slow. I'm going back to the border. Baby, where, where I'm better known? Because you ain't done nothing, baby, but drove a good man. When the moon peep over the mountain, baby, I'm gonna be, gonna be on my way. I'm gonna roam this old highway until the break of day. So give me one more kiss, baby. Give me one more kiss, baby, before I go. Cause when I leave this town, baby, I won't be back 
no more. Go ahead, Jeff. Go ahead. <laughs> Until the day I die. I'm gonna do this until I die, folks. Take me away. live in New York City with B.B. King, who has traveled about, oh, 15 blocks from the club that has your name on it. That's where some of these folks saw you this weekend. Live by request, that's where he's on the live by request stage. You've been an eyewitness to a lot of history, B.B., in all the years that you have been on this stage. Tell me some of the things that, that have stood out that you've seen since you came from the Delta in Mississippi to the White House to this stage. Well, getting a chance to see all these nice young people and one of the greatest audience I think I've ever worked to, and being able to <laughs> and, and being able to sit and chat with you when your time clock ain't running so fast. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about the determination of a young boy down in the Mississippi Delta to pick up that guitar and take you on a, a, a trip that maybe you never even imagined how big it was going to be. No, I, I never thought about it. I tell you what, when you grow up as I did on a plantation, picking cotton, chopping cotton, which was something that at the time then I didn't like to get up to do, like most kids don't like to get up to go to school either, but I did it and you know something, today I'm glad if I had my life to live again, 
I think a whole lot of that I would uh, do all over again. But this one Mississippi boy, that farm boy, plantation, whatever you want to call it, I'd like to say to all of the young people that are in school today, if I had my way though, I would finish high school. I only went through the 10th grade. I would finish high school, go to college, minor in, I mean major rather in music, minor in computers or something, and wouldn't get married until after 40. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now, while all of America is writing that down, let's take another request. Shall we go back to the phones? All right, let's this go This is back. from Rosario, Argentina. Fernando, you're on the phone with B.B. King. Say hi. Hello, B.B. Hello. <laughs> Yo, it's true. <laughs> How are you? I'm I'm great. I'm. Uh, this is unexplainable, you know. Uh, I don't know. I was talking to a girl a few minutes ago, and now I'm talking to you. I I really can't believe this. Uh, you have no idea of how, the way my heart is jumping right now. <laughs> you know, I'm well, trying to sound calm, but but it's really difficult. I'm here <laughs> with my family, uh, and this is incredible for me. You know. Well, thank uh, you very much. Know. It's been a while since I've been in your country, and I'd love yes. to come back again. Yes, I hope you come back again because I missed your last show, and it it was such a pity. You know. And I'm waiting, I'm waiting. So if you have the energy, as you said, you want to do it all over again, now come to Argentina, please. We are <laughs> waiting for you, Bibi. Muchas gracias. Hey, all right, you also speak Spanish. <laughs> Fernando, what would you like to hear tonight? Well, uh, the first time I heard Bibi was when he played around 87, 88 with you two. Yes. And he played an incredible song, and that's the song I want to hear. It's called When Love Comes to Town. Thank right. you. Love well, Comes to Town.
one of his favorite friends, his guitar, Lucille. Now, I heard you say earlier, someone said, how many Lucilles do you have? And you said 16. 16 yes. Now, for we older fans, we've heard this story before, but if you look around out here, there are a lot of young fans. Yes. Where did Lucille come from for the young fans who may not know? Give me a little talking music, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I can do it? You can do it. Okay. Back in 1949, I used to play a place, keep it down, used to play a... <laughs> Oh, God, I can't hear so good anyway. I used to play a place out in Arkansas, a place called Twist, Arkansas. There is such a place. And I used to play that quite often when I had no other place to play, and most times I didn't. But it got quite cold there in winter. So they used to take something like a big garbage pail and half fill it with kerosene. They would set that out in the middle of the floor and half fill it with kerosene, I should say, and light that fuel, and that's what we use for heat. Everybody danced and would dance around it. But one night, two guys start to fight. I'm glad they don't do that in New York. <laughs> two guys start to fight. One knocked the other one over on this container, and when that container spilled, it was already burning, so, so it looked like a river of fire. Everybody started to run for the front door because the back door was nailed up. Keep people from sneaking in. Everybody ran for the front door, including B.B. King. <laughs> when I got on the outside, then I realized I'd left my guitar and I went back for it. When I did, the building was burning rapidly and it's, when I went back in, it started to collapse around me and I almost lost my life trying to save my guitar. But I did. Next morning, we found that these two guys was fighting, was fighting about a lady. I never did meet the lady, but I learned that her name was Lucille. I named my guitar Lucille to remind me never to do a thing like that again. <laughs> and that's the story of Lucille. I'm going to go to the phone. One thing I want to mention, though, isn't it great when he says, give me a little talking music? He gets talking music. I like that. Let's go to the phones. Another request. You're talking to B.B. King from El Paso, Texas. What's your name? Hope. Say hi to B.B. Hope. Hi, Mr. King. Hello, Miss Hope. Oh, I'm so thrilled to be talking to you. You can't imagine. I, this is, this, God, if I die now, take me now. I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. I got to hear you play live at the Pan American Center right outside of El Paso, Texas, in Las Cruces, New Mexico, and that was a thrill for me. Thank I you. have lupus, and I don't get to go out much, and I get ill very often, so... When I knew you were going to be there, I had to go. I just had to go. If I would have had to crawl, I would have crawled. And now to hear you and to be speaking to you live, you don't know what this means to me. I haven't been feeling well today, and God, I'm on cloud nine right now. I'm on cloud nine to be speaking to the king of the blues. Thank you. What would you like to hear tonight? Huh? I'd like to hear a feel-good song to make me feel good just by speaking to the wonderful, great Mr. King, Caledonia. Caledonia! Thank you, Hope. Uh, all right. <laughs> Just the same. I'm crazy about my baby, cause Caledonia 
here with a man who many years ago was nicknamed the Beale Street Blues Boy, which is what the BB stands for. Got to ask you something. You seem like such a happy man. Tell me about getting the blues. Well, blues to me is life as we are living it, as we have lived it, and as I believe we'll live it in the future, because it has to do with people, places, and things. And I don't believe there's ever been a man that loved women that haven't loved one. <laughs> that gave them And the I words. don't believe it's ever been a lady that liked men that haven't loved one. Okay. And a lot of times things just don't work out like we want them to. That's blues. <laughs> Everybody's going, I know exactly what you're talking about. Let's take another request, B.B. You're on the phone with B.B. King, Thomas from Colorado Springs, Colorado. Say hi, Thomas. Hey, hi. Hi. Uh, Mr. King, this is Thomas Moore from Colorado Springs. Well, how are you? Hey, I'm great. You know, this is the greatest day of my life. I mean, <laughs> I've been listening to you. I'm from Mississippi. You're from Mississippi? Absolutely. I was listening to you on WLAC with old Barry Radio right there in Meadville, Mississippi. Hallelujah. <laughs> you know what, B.B.? What? Every year, to include this coming August the 7th, I will see you at Phil Green. I'd be there every year. He sees you every year, feel the green. All That's right. Great. That's great. Thomas, Thank what you. would you like to hear tonight just for you? I would like to request this song for my family, I Survive. Hey, survive. hey, I like that Thank one. Thomas. Thank you. I'll survive, BB King. All right.
and fame Good luck to bad luck Friends must take the blame I can't beg you no more, baby That's much pride But I For those of us who love the blues, for those of us who appreciate what it takes to make great music and to do it at the top of your game for over a half century, this has been one of the one of those nights that can never last long enough. It's almost coming to an end, but I want you to tell the one story that you told us last night. You went to meet the Pope. Yes. And Talk, what happened? Talking music. <laughs> told you. Yes, the band and I went over to the Vatican and we had a chance to go and have a sitting with the Pope. He wasn't feeling too, that, too good that day, so he came in and started to speak to us. And it was about 30 of us from different countries. And I suppose we spoke about six different languages. Believe it or not, he addressed each of us in our own tongue. What I mean by that, me English, somebody Spanish, somebody French, and so on. But anyway, as we got ready to leave, we were walking away, and uh, before we left, I should say, I, I said, Holy Father, you're always doing things for others, so I'd like to give you a present. He looked at me, and I gave him Lucille's sister. Looked just like this one. So I passed it to one of his uh, people, but he took it himself. <laughs> so as we were walking out, as we started to leave, one of the guys, I don't know which one of them, said, you know, I hear the Pope playing the thrill is gone. <laughs> So the Pope loves B.B. as well. <laughs> hey, B.B., I just want to say thank you so much for being on Live by Request. We have had a ball. It is time to go. I want to thank this incredible band back here. You all are great. And then one more treat, Jeff Beck. See you next time. Last song is yours, B.B. Thank you so much, my friend. You act like you don't want to listen. When I'm talking to you, you think you ought to do, baby, anything you want to do. Gotta be crazy, baby. Gotta be out of your mind. As long as I'm paying the bill, paying the call, be the boss. I'll drink if I want to, play a little poker too. I don't want you saying nothing as long as I'm taking care of you. As long as I'm working, baby. Don't like what I'm doing. Bend up your finger, boy.